Ultimately, that's what I became addicted to, I think, was the world becoming such a small place and the possibilities that opened up because of that. I'd say I first like discovered the internet when I was probably maybe like 10. It was probably a couple years later in 2007 that my cousin sent me a video and it was a video of me singing in a shopping center that someone had taken and, and uploaded. And I clicked it and it was to this website called YouTube that was like a year old at the time. And then um, I realized that like more people had seen that video than, than I had ever sung for in real life. And that was a big moment for me where I, I was like, okay, what's well, this is it. So the record deal came from me doing it in my bedroom because coming from Perth in Australia, there's no music industry there. So the internet just seemed like the place to kind of be. And then I like made the song. It wasn't mixed or mastered or anything like that. I called up my local children's hospital and I was like, hey, I want to do like a charity project for you guys. Is it cool if I come shoot a music video at your hospital? Went to the hospital and, and filmed the video. Then a week later, I had an email from my record label wanting to sign me. In the period where I was sort of figuring myself out, I turned to the internet 100%. I had, the, you know, anonymous accounts on like every gay teen forum and I was like, um, I did the lot. I watched every coming out video on YouTube and felt like I really sort of owed the internet, um, yeah, a thank you and, and owed the internet sort of my story because at that time I'd already built up this huge YouTube audience. On August 7th, 2010, I told my family that I am gay. And now on August 7th, 2013, I want you guys to know that I'm gay. Coming out online, I think is a, first of all, practically, it's like a really efficient way to come out. <laughs> I haven't had to come out to anyone in so long, it's so nice. That space is a space where terrified LGBT kids go to realize that they're not alone and deal with accepting who they are and letting other people know who they are. I think 14 year old Troy would, would have yeah, very much appreciated an openly gay pop star. I remember Ricky Martin coming out on the cover of a magazine and the fact that it needed a whole big like magazine cover story was scary to me and I would have really appreciated someone who was just sort of doing their thing whilst being gay. I was playing a show and um, this girl started like waving a note at me from the front row and um, I knelt down and, and took the note while I was singing, put it in my back pocket and carried on singing and looked at her again, caught eyes with her again, and she started like signaling for me to open the note. If you're reading this, I, I, can you announce that Kelly is bisexual, please? Oh. Kelly's mother's in the car. I was like, I read it, got super nervous, felt like it was like my coming out all over again. The crowd just went like absolutely ballistic. And it was a very like emotional, overwhelming moment. I do sort of feel the pressure to, to keep making YouTube videos. Mostly pressure for myself though, because I really do value that space and that platform. Just personally, I feel like it's really shaped who I am. You know, it's like, sure, maybe things have changed a little bit, but it tells the whole story up until now. I kind of want to keep that, keep that going. Wait, you have a bunch of white hair. Damn! Yummy. 